on the last video we created a quiz um, and we created two question banks I'll review that quickly so we created a quiz in a week and again question banks are on settings question banks okay so when you click on the actual quiz again remember that the questions themselves you can use them on as many quizzes as you want to because they're part of the question banks there you can export them also and import them into different courses so here I have the four questions I have so far if I then select the chapter I would only have two per chapter and then I can actually tell it add one random question from those two questions okay so now I randomly selected one question for chapter one then we'll click chapter two so I have two questions and I told it add one random from chapter two Okay, so out of four questions, I told her the, the, the program to add two questions, and those two questions are different because, uh, or have a chance of being different in each quiz. Okay, so that's how you can create a quiz with different questions, each of them randomized. And then you can preview the quiz if you want to. Tells you have one attempt, 30 minutes. In this case, we only have two questions. So what did I eat for lunch? I had a hamburger. I am not 30 years old. And I save and continue. Swim it off. Great. Okay. So I finish. It won't show me all the results because I told it not to show me results automatically. That I wanted to for it to show me results at the end if I. Uh, once the quiz was closed on the 23rd. Okay. Great. One of the permission settings that happens often, and I'm gonna go over it just because it's in my opinion important to, to go over it, is sometimes you need to do a user override. Let's say one user needs two attempts. Um, I'll have students in this course, so I can do a user override. So if we then wanted to add those questions to a different quiz, let's say the last week, we wanted to create another quiz. We'll call this quiz Evaluation 2. Again, the description is optional. This quiz, they'll only have Three minutes to finish, no, five minutes to finish it. And they'll have, let's say this one's only open, it's going 23rd, 24 so this one's after the other quiz. They have only one attempt. Okay. And then let's keep this this way now. I wouldn't do that if it was my quiz, because I would like the quiz to only show results at the end. But in this case, I'm going to keep it this way on purpose, just so that we can look at how the page with the results uh, looks. What does it show the student? Uh, save and return to course. Okay, so now we have evaluation one here with the two questions, one from chapter two, one from chapter uh, one. And then we'll edit a quiz now. We'll tell this quiz to, again, we'll select category. But this time we'll just you know, add both questions. I could select both of them. Let's just do it this way. I'll select both of these questions and I'll tell it to add them to quiz. So both questions are added. Now I'll go to chapter two and I'll do the same. So unlike the previous quiz that only had two questions, I randomized questions of each chapter. Now this quiz has four questions. And you'll see here, it doesn't say randomized questions. It tells you which question it is. So we can change the grades if we want to and things like that. But uh, we just want to now take the quiz. So we'll preview the quiz now. Start attempt. Oh, this is false. See the order changed again. The last time we answered this hamburger was in the middle. That's what happens because we can randomize answers. Uh, one of the things that I like. Uh, I bought her some perfume last week and I am not six foot two. So made him finish all. Unlike the previous time that it just told me you finished, this time I told her to 
told the program to give me the report automatically. So it gave me the report automatically. So that's pretty much it. You can reuse the questions however much you want to. You can export them. You can import them from a, from a different file types too, even Blackboard and other file names. So that's um, the flexibility that quizzes have. And again, you could add essay questions if you wanted to, which could be a 30-minute time essay if you wanted to as well. Thanks.